a lifelong AV nerd, so stereotypically kind of an indoor, indoor kid. I'm somebody who has never felt or thought of myself as an athletic person. I was on a soccer team for one game in the first grade, and then I quit. About 10 years ago, I got pretty interested in cycling, so riding a bike is really fun, but that's a very solo sport, and I, I, I'm not very competitive when it comes to cycling. It's, uh, I am slow. But as much as I love my bike and I love cycling, at the beginning of 2023, I started learning how to ice skate. What is your first ice, your last ice skating experience? We're gonna, oh, my last ice skating experience? I won the Stanley Cup. No, I just fell a bunch and then got fat. Um, that's it. That's all of my ice skating experience, all three of them. Well, we're gonna try to do this together. Through the gentle patience of my wife, Heather, I really started liking ice skating. He's doing great. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and they're great. Oh, you need the fast oh so fast. And now I've spent the last six months or so learning the basics of playing hockey to the point where Heather and I have full sets of equipment. And not only do I have a full set of player gear, but I've also ended up with a full set of goalie gear because of course I wanted to go for the most expensive and, and most like impractical position you could play. One of the most important things when it comes to something like hockey is safety. And unfortunately, none of the player equipment translates over to goalie. Like this is a player helmet. This is a goalie helmet. This would be very dangerous to wear in a goalie situation where pucks are flying at you. So a goalie helmet pops on your head like this. And now in addition to probably making it difficult to hear me, I can now take pucks flying directly at my head. But if you notice, this helmet is just plain white because that's usually how they come, maybe black. If you look at professional hockey goalies, let me take this off so you can hear me better. If you look at professional hockey goalies, painted goalie masks are like a thing. It's such a, it's so cool. And I'm somebody who has an airbrush. I'm somebody who has a whole video about refinishing a guitar. And believe it or not, refinishing a goalie mask is kind of the same process as refinishing a guitar. You sand it down, get rid of all this finish that's on here, paint your design on it or paint whatever colors you want on it. And then you have to refinish it and reseal it very much like doing a guitar. But after refinishing that guitar that I did, as fun and satisfying as that was, I don't want to do that again. And this very expensive goalie helmet, it looks so nice that I, I don't, I can't bring myself to like sand it down. Getting a helmet professionally painted, 1500, $2,000, $3,000. So I think I found a solution to make my very plain hockey mask look at least a little bit, a little bit neater and a little bit more fun. And this is my solution to do that. I found this website that you can kind of just do custom colors. And so this is what it should look like. The key word there being should. Another change I want to make is see how these straps are kind of this flesh color that I don't know, just looks, even when it's brand new, it just sort of looks old and worn out. Well, it took about just under two hours from start to finish, but here is the before and here is the after. I am really happy with the final results, especially taking into account pricing, because like I said, getting a professionally airbrushed, which would be significantly more detailed than this, can be thousands of dollars, totally worth it. Would love to have that happen one day, but definitely not in the budget right now. And not something I wanna do myself. 
So for, I forget exactly how much these were, but the company is based in Canada. It was from GameFaceGraphics.net. It came out to like 90 bucks-ish with shipping and everything. So not bad, and you can customize the colors. So I chose these colors here. You can get logos, you could go more detail. There are a whole bunch of different options and they work really well. It's basically just like stickers or decals. So you put them on, I, I did one side and then tried to duplicate it symmetrically on the other side. So you don't have to be super symmetrical, but I think I took a little extra time trying to get everything lined up as evenly as possible. You get some numbers included too, if you have a number that you wanna put on there. And when you're done, you just use a hairdryer or a heat gun. It was really satisfying to cut some of these things and like fold it in and make it look really polished. But other things like some of these circles were a little trickier and it's not perfect and I probably need to trim off some more bits, but you know, even up close, it looks pretty decent, but especially like, you know, from a distance, it looks pretty good. And something I really like is that the decals are like the same glossiness as the finish of the helmet. So it just sort of helps sell the like more polished, completed, you know, illusion, if you will. But, oh, and I had to go back to the, the default strap back here because the one I got was just sort of like a no name generic one. And this top part was too short. So it threw off the fit of everything. I want it to look cool, but like it is a helmet. So I don't want to do anything that's gonna sacrifice the protection. So I did order a genuine one, but it'll be like a month to get here. In the meantime, I can have a mean old time with my super semi-custom goalie mask.